Randy, you know, the Astros fans are still rallying behind the team in this ninth inning. I mean, there's still some time. Yeah, yeah. without a doubt, without a <laughs> doubt. Yeah, this game is not over yet. They have uh, three more outs, and they, we can see if they can get this thing either a win in this yeah. last inning or perhaps take it to extra innings. We know they have what it takes to make it to the World Series. Yep. Fans are hoping that it certainly turns out that way. KPRC 2's Devin Clark has been hanging out with the fans all afternoon. Devin, what's the mood outside the stadium right now? Keith Daniel, I can tell you that, as you mentioned, a lot of fans are starting to trickle out of Minute Maid Park, but they're not giving up just yet as we see that gap tightening. We still see a lot of Houstonians with excitement on their faces, smiles, cheering, go strolls. Earlier, we were at FanFest. We have some video of that. We saw some elaborate costumes. We saw some people eating delicious food. We saw people playing games, getting their face painted, turning into caricatures. A lot of fun and excitement here outside of Minute Maid Park. And even though the strolls aren't doing so well, people are still hopeful. For a postseason game, it was okay, but I would have liked that we took the lead and not Seattle taking the lead, and now they're winning. So it's kind of it's kind of a letdown because I figured the Astros would keep that momentum going and just you know go all the way. You either go big or go home. <laughs> of course, it is not over yet, so the Astros still have a chance to win this. And remember, this is just game one. Best of five is what we're looking at here, and that's what we're going to hope for. For now, reporting live outside of Minute Maid Park, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. All right, Devin, thank you. Well, we all know the postseason moves very fast, even as we wait to find out how this game is going to end. And we're already looking ahead to game two of the ALDS on Thursday. Yeah, that's right. Never too early for a countdown clock. You know we love those countdown clocks around here. Game two, Thursday, right back here at Minute Maid Park. First pitch again is precisely at 237. Yeah, of course, like always, there will be a street fest celebration before game two on Thursday, just like there was today. Mm -hmm. That starts at 1130. If you're planning on calling in sick at work, letting you know 1130. <laughs> wow. It is open to all the fans with a game two ticket, or if you want to, you know, skip school, maybe this is a good excuse I, I, I with guess a good we, note. Yeah, I guess we have to call <laughs> it out because people do do that. Um, fast forward now to the pregame ceremonies. The national anthem is going to be sung by Kaylee's Irizarry. Terry Poole, class of 2022 inductee into the Astros Hall of Fame, is going to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. And the Ghetto Boys, legends of H-Town, Scarface and Willie D, they get the play ball call. Nice. Your mind will not be playing tricks on you. That's right. Again, game two is Thursday afternoon right here at Minute Maid Park. You can still hear some of the fans excited, hopeful yeah. yes, for yeah. what's to come. It is, yeah. I've been Okay, I can't lie. I've been checking my app uh, right now. Bottom of the ninth, one out. So still a chance. Two more outs. We, yeah. can, still, we can still get this thing, folks.